What is up guys? In today's video, we're gonna do a little modification to our Slayer Propel 10 seat. As you can see, we got the cush bar and the Kai cushion for our bum. So, um, you know, doing a lot of fishing on the river for long periods of time, definitely takes a, a toll on my butt and the lower back. And man, I'm gonna be honest, when I opened these in the mail today, I just got these today, it put a huge smile on my face. I put this on uh, my office, my gaming chair, and it's such a huge difference maker. This is really, really comfortable. I even put this on my lower back too, and man, it's such a, such a difference maker. But um, we're gonna install it. Basically, comes like this with these uh, ratchet straps in the middle. Not ratchet straps, but two little straps here. So we're gonna tie it down like this. And then the cush bar is basically gonna sit right here. So. This is pretty much what it's gonna look like once we uh, we strap it down. But um, we're gonna set it up and then uh, give it a test and see how it is. All right, so we're gonna start off with just loosening these. Oh, still in there. All right, up. I've had this kayak for gosh, I don't know, since 2016. So it's roughly almost six years since I've had this now. So. It's uh, it's mainly my river kayak, you know, it's my everything kayak, so I'll go lakes on it, rivers, a lot of river fishing, and um, this chair, it was somewhat comfortable early on, but, you know, when you do a lot of fishing, especially for like, throughout the whole day, 10 plus hours, definitely takes a toll on you, um, but we're gonna, you know, modify a little bit, just add on some, some cushion to it. And that should definitely make fishing way more enjoyable. Okay, so basically, we're we'll start with the base first. We're gonna grab this strap, stitch it right through. Hope you guys can see this. Do this in the garage. It's really windy out today. Um, I'm off work Wednesday. The weather looks pretty promising. We got maybe, we'll have maybe, I'm hoping at least a you know, a full blown eight hours of uh, fishing, meaning we're not fishing for eight hours straight. We're, uh, we're paddling and walking and then fishing. So it's like a mixture. So whenever I tell people, yeah, I'm gonna be out fishing for like eight hours. Technically, I'm only fishing for like maybe four or five hours, you know. But uh, let me see if I can grab this. Uh, where'd it go? A little tricky here. Okay, got us through. Just gotta make sure that it's straight on the bottom, which I think it is. I think we probably want this to sit flush in the crease back here. But the issue is trying to bait. I think typically when I travel, um, I just leave my seat bolted into a uh, screw into my kayak in the bed of my pickup truck. So whenever I'm driving like, on the highway or you know, really fast speed, the chair typically kicks up like this. I don't think it'll be a huge problem just because um, even when I fold my chair, the wind kicks it up. So it's not gonna cause too much of a, you know, a wreck or anything. We should be good for the most part. I'm just gonna strap this in. And then I'm gonna pull it tight. The angle here might be a little awkward. So I don't know if I can should be able to make it really tight. I'm just gonna flip it around this way. You guys can still see it. And I'm just gonna pull it. You can see I'm pulling it. And yeah, it's pretty tight. It's not gonna, it's not gonna move too much. Look at that. Nice and firm. Nice for the bum. All right. This is what it looks like underneath the seat. Um, I wish there was some sort of a, uh, like some sort of like strap or something where I can just tuck this in, but it's not a big deal. I can just put it under my seat. Just kind of clean up. You know, less less loose strings and straps, the better typically, right? But it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna tuck it in under the seat like this. Uh, a little bit loose, I'm gonna pull it a little bit more. Just make sure it's nice and secure. These two, these straps often do get a little bit loose over time, but they're, Typically really, you know, really secure and firm. Have a nice, nice grip there. 
but yeah, really nice. Um, we got one more on the side. We're gonna, this one should be a lot easier. I'm just gonna pull it through. Same thing, just a, a horizontal connection. Put it through right here, right under, and then just go under the bungee cord. And we'll flip it this way. Whoop, dropping stuff. Same thing, I'm gonna put it through the strap. Trying to show you guys what it looks like, but it's really it's a really simple setup, you know. All right, so I'm gonna since it's this way, I'm gonna pull it upward to tighten it, and I think that should be good for this one. I think we're just gonna have to kind of just loop it around this part so it doesn't it's not hanging off like the chair or anything. We'll give it another loop. And yeah, it's like that. Nice and clean, clean look. And here's our bottom base here. And let's give it a quick test here. Just gonna sit on it, see how it feels overall. Oh, see that my kayak kinda, kinda hurts. All right, here we go. This is really nice. I'm gonna be really honest. This is probably one of the, the best investments, modifications you can do to any kayak seat. You know, this is not just for native seat, it could be for any seat. Man, this thing just makes it so comfortable. I do notice something here where when I tighten it, the fabric is stretching out. I don't know if I wanna make it that tight, so that way there's not too much stress where, you know, long run doesn't come undone or anything. Um, it's my first time using this cushion. I'm not too sure the durability of this, how long it's gonna last. Um, especially when I do a lot of fishing, a lot of sitting, a lot of you know grinding in and out. Cause uh, when I kayak fish, I also do a lot of waiting as well. So I'm always constantly popping in and out of my kayak. So I think I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit. That way, you know, it's not a big issue if it's not extremely tight. I don't want it too tight to a point where it's stretching the fabric too much. So I'm gonna loosen this a little bit and then we'll put on the, uh, the cush bar and we'll give that a test as well. Okay, so the cush bar should be uh, pretty self-explanatory here. You know, same thing. You got a strap in the back. Just gonna take that out. And we're basically just gonna wrap it around like so. And this one I can probably make it a little bit, a little bit tight just so it kind of sits in the back, the curve here. I'm basically gonna you know, just never take this off unless I need like rinse or something. I do fish in the rain a lot sometimes. I gotta probably have to dry it out whenever it gets wet so it doesn't stink or, you know, contain any odor. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Here we go, tying it down. Basically, it's a little gap right here, but once I sit on it, it's gonna, you know, lean back. It's gonna start curving. And then probably in the long run, it's probably gonna start forming and just kinda have a little curve there, just kind of stay there. Uh, for the strap in the back, same thing, we're just gonna tuck in the back right here. Show you guys what it looks like. Simple, simple setup, really simple, anyone can do it. We'll tuck this one in as well, so it doesn't, no loose strap or anything, hang on the chair, hang off the chair, besides the, uh, the chair strap itself to uh, adjust the seat angle. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's give it one more test here. I'm gonna set it down. And we got the, uh, ooh, the bum support and the lumbar support. Oh. Let me tell you guys, when you fish for several hours and you're sitting all day, oh, that lower back really, really makes a huge difference really does. I find myself a lot of times when I'm, I'm stretching like this, trying to stretch my lower back, twisting, oh, cracking my lower back. I think we can make this chair a little bit straighter now since I have a lumbar support. This is nice. I can definitely do this even longer now. <laughs> Probably fish all day nonstop, but definitely, definitely a must have. If you guys are having, you know, back support issues or, you know, soreness in your butt from sitting too long or any, you know, all that goody, but definitely, 
definitely a must have. Check out, you know, Cushion Kayak. I think it's Cushion Kayak. Um, I'll provide the link down in the description below. But both of these price wise, they did run me for, I think a little bit over a hundred bucks ish with shipping and tax. But hey, you know, you gotta take care of your body, mind, body, health, definitely. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.